Hi, eighth grade. Uh, this is your first of two About Me projects to get to know you this year. Um, this one is part of our A for Art um, and Design. Um, so you will be constructing a cell phone with different apps that represent you. Um, so without further ado, um, we have the art component. You will fill your cell phone template in um, with different clip art that represents apps about yourself and fills the correct category. Um, you'll use a selfie for the top circle and crop the images so that you don't cover things. So let's take a look at what that means on this slide. So here's my example slide. I have filled it in. I found clip art that represented my age. That was exciting. My family, a little photo, best food, favorite animal, a gif of my favorite color, uh, my best subject, dream destination, something I love and something I don't like. Okay. And I filled in the text up here and I included a selfie of myself. So how do we go about doing that? So let's start with the circle about ourself. Um, I first did this by creating a circle of color um, so that I had a selfie you know, uh, background. And I kind of played around with this. You can do whatever you want for the color of your circle. I kind of went up to the paint bucket. I chose a gradient to make it kind of interesting. Um, so you can choose like a gradient to make the background a little more cool. And then I found a selfie of myself. Okay, so I took a photo that I had on my desktop um, and I'm going to go to that remove background um, website. So remove background. Okay. And I'm going to upload that image to the remove background so that I don't have like the background behind myself. So desktop, I think I had a selfie in here, maybe. Eh, no. Uh, let's see, I have to find where I actually have a selfie. I think it was under phone. That's right. And that's of my kid. Um, hold on, phone. And this one, that's back. Uh, A. Okay, here we go. And so I'm going to find one of me. Let's go with this one. Okay, so I'm uploading this one to the background site. It will remove the background to make this just myself. So I'm gonna download it. I kind of like that effect. You could just use a picture of yourself, but this way I fit into the circles. So I downloaded it. I'm gonna come back to my project screen. Here we go. Insert image from my computer. It's in my downloads now because I downloaded it. There it is. Okay, there's my little map to make it bigger because this screen is super. This what's it to make this page small and big at the same time to fit everything in it. Okay, and so I'm going to put me right there. Pop me into that circle a little bit. And it's okay if I stick out a little bit, but there I am in that circle. Okay, so that's kind of how you do that piece of it. When it comes to these boxes here, um, I can go to different sites to find those images. I am going to go to the Giphy website and show you how to put a Giphy, GIF type file in. Okay, uh, let's say my favorite color is red. Red, um, red star. Let's say I want a red star GIF. Just not sure any of these match what I want. So maybe just red image. Maybe this is good, red flowers, okay? So I'm gonna pick that one, has red in it. Ooh, that's not what I wanna pick. This image, file, save as. I wanna make sure it's saving as a GIF, that's good. And I'm gonna put red just to name it red gif okay i'm going to save it 
It's going to download it again. I'm going to come back to my phone template. <coughs> Favorite color box. Insert image. Again, upload from my computer. And I'm going to go to my desktop where I saved that one too. There's that flower GIF open. There it is. I'm going to put it in favorite color and I'm going to make it the size of that box the best I can. I don't want to cover up the thing that says favorite color because I want Miss Watts to know what box I'm putting it in. So I kind of make it fit as best I can. And there is my red image in that one. Um, from the other ones, I can also do this. I can go to file and upload from my computer and, or not from my computer. I can go on the internet and find an image. So upload, search the web, and I can look for, let's say my age is 18. And I can see eight images of 18. So maybe I put like this in the 18 box. Um, and I have to, oh, there it is. I thought I had to move my thing to get the 18 to appear and drag it over. And again, we want to make those as close to the size and you can crop too by double clicking. So maybe I crop it instead of just resizing it and then move it over. And if you need any help with this, you can call me over to your desk. And there, that's the best fit in there. So there's my age. So I do that with all of my boxes. I find a GIF or I find an image that is creative to go in all of my boxes. Uh, last on this are the text boxes up here. My name, what I like to be called. Um, and you do have to, according to the instructions, choose a font size that's like 100 to 200, uh, just because of how zoomed out this slide is uh, for Miss Watts to be able to see your text. Um, so clicking on this to move it, make sure you move it to fit where the name goes. I'm going to type my name, Katie, okay? And what I like to be called, you can add your pronouns if you have pronouns that you like or prefer to that section as well. Uh, but remember the key thing about those text boxes is just make sure you are choosing a font size that is like over a hundred. And you can bold them if you want, you can color them if you want, okay? So that Ms. Watts can see them better. Okay, so that's page one. So let's go back. You have links to the Remove Background site and Giphy. Um, that brings us to the writing component. You're first going to respond to the questions about your apps in sentence form saying what and why each one represents to you. So Ms. Watts might not get that your favorite color is red from this photo. Um, so that's where the sentences come in to explain what and why you put in the box. And you're also going to fill in slide four with your responses and sentences. And again, remember to use font sizes between 100 and 200 so that I can see it on this um, weird size document. So I'm going to come here to this one, write about your apps and tell me what you put in the box and why. Okay, so I put a 18 in the age box because I am now 18 years old, right? Uh, the box that is the flower one, one, two, three, four, five, that's the fifth box. I put red roses in this box because red is my favor, favorite ah, color, okay? And a period. Um, so remember, sentences get capitalization at the beginning, they get a period at the end, um, and then you also have this chat box slide, slide five, uh, to fill in for your uh, phone. Uh, there's a little chat conversation. Remember, if you need to zoom in, you can use the zoom button. Oop, not that zoomy, uh, but you can use zoom um, in, oh, geez, oh, geez. Uh, there we go. And maybe I have to do it, zoom in just like that. And you can see it and make your text boxes. And you'll make text boxes in the blanks to fill in the interesting facts about yourself and answer the questions in the chat log um, in the empty text boxes. So once you complete writing your sentences there, uh, going back to the rubric, 
We finished the writing component. We filled in slide four with our responses. We created text boxes. We filled in slide five uh, with our responses as well. That should be slide five, I believe. That's the one with slide five has the chat boxes and slide four is the one Right, is the one with our uh, text or our sentences. And then to finish it, we're using the submit button in Schoology. We go back to Schoology where this document is kept and you click on submit and you send your document to Ms. Watts when you're done. If you want me to look at it before you submit it, I have no problem doing that. Uh, just call me over to your desk and I'll come see. Okay. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask.